you guys ever been riding out in the middle of nowhere and you find yourself in the middle of the woods and realize you have sweated your balls off and you ask yourself, why the hell did I choose this gear? Well, funny story. That is the position Bo and I were in last year when we came to get on ADV Fest. We had serious ADV gear, serious pants, and we were miserable. We were sweating the whole day and it it didn't ruin the ride. I almost died. Bo almost died though. So in today's video, Revit has us set up with, there's a jersey, there's pants, there's boots, there's gloves, and what you guys cannot see is a Proteus piece of armor underneath this jacket. We're here at Buffalo Chip doing Revzilla's Get On ADV Fest again this year. It's about the same temperature today that it was last year when we rode. So now we want to find out, is this gear the right gear for this style of riding. We're gonna find out in today's ride. So let's go over the gear that we have. Hey guys, so here are Revit's massive gloves. So Bo, why are we using these guys? These are more of a dirt bike glove. So you'll notice there's not any like hard parts. It just does have more protection than most motocross style gloves, but it's supposed to be light, tactile, airy. I love the way they feel. And do. low cuff. Right. So you have lots of flexibility sweet yeah so guys this that's the proteus uh piece of armor the jersey is called the seeker jersey right yeah. all right we have affectionately called these the ninja pants bo's got them in fire breathing red i've got the black ones here all right you got the fancy boots these are the expedition gtx right i've had these for what a year you love those i love these and what are mine uh that's the discovery I think it is. Uh, so guys, the ride we're doing today is in this gear. <laughs> if you guys watched last episode. Mission. On. TCS disabled. Bo's bike ha! is causing, it has an issue with it. So basically we talked with Triumph yesterday. We got a little diagnosis going on. Turns out problem is more serious than it needs to be, but Triumph got easy our backs. Fix. It's gonna be an easy fix. Oh, okay. But it's not gonna happen until we're back home. But, so in the meantime, you guys notice this bike? No, you don't, but it looks just like Bo's bike almost. So what bike do they put you on? A Rally Pro. Oh, you get to try the Rally Pro. Yeah, and it's got the Anarchy Wilds, which okay. are like the knobby versions of what he had on his bike. All right, guys, we're gonna get to riding. You guys stick around. Today should be an extremely fun day. As, uh, today's route that uh, Rever puts out, we are going to do is called Rock and Roll. It is a 96 mile, two hour and 52 minute route. It is, uh, it should be very fun. If you guys don't know, Rever is like a ride planning app that's uh, really neat. May the fun begin, boys. The second you start moving with this gear, all oh. the airflow. <laughs> God, all the airflow. I I feel dumb last from last year not having this gear. Obviously, I didn't know about it or whatever. But my goodness, I am so thankful to have this stuff now. Buffalo Chip. It is 10 o'clock in the morning and 90 degrees outside. God damn, what? Um, also, what's cool I about this Revit stuff is if you want to be low key, you've got the, all the black and the white and oh, if you want to oh. be Bo, you can <laughs> you can be both i am sad that you don't have your highlighted bike with your highlighted gear i do feel like it's a combination it's a that, it's the, it's it's the whole thing <laughs> yeah it still looks good though the red pants with the little red uh dots yep. it's a peach i'm excited i think i'm going to be able to enjoy today more because of uh being able to flow more air and be more comfortable like, yeah yesterday was band. really nice but it was like on the cusp of being chilly yeah when we today's were out. actually gonna be hot so gonna, today's the first day this today. gear is necessary yeah for sure i do like the uh almost purplish gray that that top is yeah i think it helps because the sun coming down up top doesn't get hit with yeah. black it also matches the helmet i feel like it flows into it really well yeah it's a good look. So guys, up here, we're going to get some uh, really fun kind of flowy roads. And it is going to feel so good with this gear on. I am stoked. I'm about to cool all the way down. Oh, you. Ah! You stay over there. You stay over there, 360 camera. Yeah, 
us, dude. We are off-road officially. Let's go off-roading. Let's go off-roading. Cool. This is going to be terrifying. Man, standing out with this jersey. My God. I, it feels like I turned the AC on. Like, that's, that's the <laughs> difference <laughs> that I feel. Ah! Successful navigation. I now see why people mount their GPSs up high. Yep. Because I'm like, I need it about right here. <laughs> All you have to do is warn us if things are out of normal, really. <laughs> well, that's the problem. My normal <laughs> is not your normal. <laughs> Everything, Bo, is out of my normal. <laughs> I'm on dirt. It's out of normal. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed this. We yeah, have that less is a traction. Fair point. That is a fair point. <laughs> Tell them if it's out of normal. God, I in a porta potty for the first time in my life. Nothing is the same. What? That was the first time ever? Ever, dude. Also, first time taking a communal shower or whatever. Whoa, that's a rock. Uh, yeah, never done that. I'm a nature boy now, guys. <laughs> Oh, that's a terrible idea. That was a terrible idea. Oh my God, that was terrifying. Is, you just chat, was that what you were doing all day yesterday? Yes. Oh my God, that is so scary. Why would you do that? Because it's fun. It feels like you're just waiting to die. As a note, gentlemen, we have wiggly roads ahead. I think that's the technical term. No, oh God. Woo! Supo slip. God, toll mighty. About that. About that. Oh, God. Pat's going to go do his own speed. Good Jesus, Pat. Pat. is <laughs> blasting us with dust. He's our scout guy. All right, Pat. It's been good, bud. Have fun. It's kind of cool having a road to ourselves for a, for a change. Yeah. Pat's got that need. That need for speed. Bye, Pat. Have fun! <laughs> Y'all can't hear Pat, but he's literally yelling as his dumb ass flies off into the distance. And I, I realize at this moment I'm sad that we don't have Pat comms for you guys to listen to. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! I bet you he has an eat shit grin on right now. You're a dot in the distance, bud! <laughs> We're on the we're on the lookout for Pat now. He rode ahead and all we heard was, Don't worry boys, I'll stop at the next intersection. And there's been two intersections. So there's a couple options here. One, he just off. Totally option. Technically. Secondly, I don't, I don't blame him. <laughs> right. Secondly, something bad could have happened. Thirdly, he could have got distracted by a bear and went and hung out with him. Which yeah. might fall into the category of just stuff. I'm not sure. So now we have to oh, find Pat. Wait, oh, Pat? I hear Patty. Pat? We found Pat. Bow. The <laughs> product, wait, is that you, Pat? Turn Can around. We shall go Patty slow. Break. We shall go slow, Patty. Not here, the road. God damn it, Pat. Don't do it. Don't do it, Pat. Oh, oh my God. Look at the little river. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, that's an awesome river. Dude, you can literally feel it cool down next to the river. That is awesome. Pat, do we have you? Patty, oh my God. We are talking to the internet, Pat. We were talking to the internet because we had to come find you. They can't hear you, but Pat says hi. Pat, we're all happy that we found you safe and sound. We were worried that you either off or something bad happened <laughs> or a bear uh, went and hung out with you, so. Uh, you would be. How are we feeling? How are we feeling with the gear? Right now at elevation, it's, nice it's okay to sit here. Oh. The My only real complaint with this jersey mm -hmm. is it is a little thicker than most motocross jerseys. Right. So when you're sitting still or you're in direct sunlight and not moving a lot, it does it does trap a little bit of the heat. It's not nearly as much as that CE level one. Yeah. But as soon as you start moving, it's AC. I will say, I think Bo might be slightly more sensitive because I do not have that feeling. I, am, I already right sweat now, more than I most. could, like, at this point, 
we're used to Georgia. I could stand in the sun. I was standing in the sun, flying the drone around. It was totally fine. I do love the ADV jacket I had last year. I love all the pockets, but it, it got to the point where it wasn't fun. We but, stopped just about as much as we're, we've been stopping last year, Yeah. but every stop was a nightmare. Right. So it is nice. These pants? You like the pants? Bro. The pants are the move. Oh, the, here's the cool thing about the pants. I can get on the motorcycle and I don't have to do this. And pull the pants yeah. up. They just... They're, they are These, where they are. which are not normally on like motocross pants. Right. Oh, the little air vents. Yeah. Are clutch. All right, guys. Well, we're going to down some Gatorades and then we're back on the road and I think we might have some dirt coming up. So we'll see what's up. Alrighty, guys. A little bit of uh, Agua, a little bit of Gatorade. And uh, we got a turn up here that should lead to a little bit of off-road. So let's get moving. Look at that freaking valley, <laughs> my god. How freaking awesome is that? That is a valley you do not get in Georgia, boys. <laughs> that is, we get nothing like that. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, I wasn't alive. I love these roads that are like right next to the, the valley on the outside, like it's such a cool feeling, like looking around and you look like you're inside of this big thing. God, look at the right, holy Yeah. That's so awesome. Oh my gosh. Dude, oh my goodness. This country is absolutely nutty sometimes. Look at all the fallen freaking rocks, man. Fuck yes. Oh, and the sun coming over the mountains. That's so cool. Dude, these rock faces to our right are f***ing dope. It's like, how the hell does that get created? I want to watch that. I want to watch a time lapse of that being created. Good God, the sun was just like, turning on. I feel like this is a nice little pleasure cruise. Dude, check out the f***ing horses over here, just, just galloping through a damn field. What? Snap. All right, guys, uh, I got the GoPro on. We were doing a drone shot and a uh, drone hit a tree. It was doing really good for a while. And Pat found it. Good job, Pat. Thank you. Lost the prop. All right, let me, uh, let me get an assessment of it. Thank you, Pat. You need help? Please be careful. All right. Drone, you did, all right, let's get you turned off, bud. All right, guys, so it looks like we just lost a prop. All right, well, we tested it. <laughs> we got a couple shots. It was doing so good. It did not see that tree at all. Well, good job, drone. Guys, in the, in the comments, um, tell, drone, tell the drone how good, how good of a job he did. And we appreciate his, uh, we appreciate his work. He sacrificed himself for the shot. <laughs> Drones packed up in the bag. We're about to bust some miles because we've spent a lot of time filming today and not a lot of time riding. Even the most airy gear can get hot. So we're gonna get some miles under our belts. Let's hit the old dusty trail. All right, All right Pat, you're God. on scout mission? Scout mission? Floyd and Operation Push Push. And that's good. <laughs> As he goes side by side, and that'll be the last time we see Pat on his scout <laughs> mission. Good God. <laughs> Bo, did you see him going sideways? Yes. yes. <laughs> Pat probably can't even hear us anymore. He's probably in Wyoming or something. <laughs> Pat, come back. There's no Pat, point in scouting. Back. Pat, come back. We can blame it all on our 
I see Pat. Oh, this is the two track? Oh, yeah. shit. I finally get to find out what two track is. Guys, I have never ridden two track. I don't know what it is. And I'm terrified if I'm going to be 100% honest. So this is two. Oh, I see why it's called two track because there's two tracks. Literally two wow. tracks. Whoa. Oh, shit. All right, go left side. Hold on, I'm moving that Insta360 if, uh, so I don't, I can't have it get toasted. Oh shit. Alright, I'm going right. God. Shit. Alright, here we go, boys. Woo Whoa, shit. Uh, Alright, I'm riding the ridge. You got this, bud. You got, oh my god, Slade. <laughs> Absolute slay the ridge. Hell yes, dude. On a bike, you just started riding today. That was awesome, dude. <laughs> Don't even know the where the wheels are and shit. That was great. Okay, so this this stuff is fun. Right? I really like this stuff. I love that they did this. Uh, and a, on an easy course so yeah. dudes like me get some experience but because like with everything being gravel it's like dude i don't want to do nothing but that <laughs> oh my gosh this stuff is awesome i love this we got we got patty our, our guide here telling us where to go a little professional I, i'm guy. upset that you're not doing it in in uh Tour guide voice, you son of a bitch. Oh my lord. Holy fuck. Bro. Just and roll it through, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you having a good time right there, bro? I just, I let you go so I could full send it. Holy shit, dude. Oh my good god. Pat, you are killing this. Big rub. Ooh. Shit, bro, that was 100% that intermediate shit they were talking about. So guys, in uh, the Rever app, they kind of give a little description of each of the paths. And they said this path had a kind of an introductory to an intermediate path, but it was a downhill descent. And that was 100% what we just went through. That was awesome, holy crap. Dude, oh my goodness, the rear was nutty. All right. Excuse us, cows. We would, uh, we request passage, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Cow. We appreciate it. Thank you. You guys have a good day. Okay. Love you, bye. That, so, all right, so two track, I, that's awesome. All right, Pat, I'm gonna slow down and let you get ahead. You, uh, you are a master of disaster. God. Dude, this route is great. They did such a good job with this route. <laughs> Bo got the evil laugh going on. Pat, you're killing it, guy. <laughs> Anna got super T on a path he's never ridden in his life, and he is able to do this and be a tour guide. My God. I gotta be honest, Pat. I don't know if I've ever seen you in an environment where you are more fit, like visually competent. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Love it, it's fun. Hill climbing that is difficult though. Ah, that opening up of the trees to all of this is so cool. Cattle guard. 
<laughs> my goodness man what a what a good run it was fun it's a good loop i i like that they added the two track into the easy stuff they like adding that in like because pe people don't know people that are doing easy track or easy yeah. stuff don't understand what two track is or so maybe i'm that, just dumb but that was a very easy two track but in an easy course it's a moderate difficulty like you know I, I don't know, but I'll take your word for it. Well, you, it, that was at the very low end of a moderate route, but at the, at, for an easy route, it's at the very high end. That descent is a moderate descent, but it might, it's probably a mid to low moderate descent. But like, that's a high moderate hill climb. Yeah, yeah, it was good. That was pretty rock on, dude. Patias, my man, a f***ing high five to you, bud. God damn, that was great. You f destroyed that shit my man had the composure to talk me through that and show me the line on a bike that weighs 300 pounds more than mine and kept the composure the entire time that might have been the most impressive thing I've ever seen you do Pat truly makes me a little sad but I mean yeah God, no be happy about it I mean it was fun it was a good time really good time that was a lot of fun I really enjoy the aspect of kind of teaching and talking people through stuff like that. I'm gonna be a hundred with you, Pat. You talk a lot of shit, and I did not think you were gonna be able to back all that shit up. And this is where I want to tell you, you still talk a lot of shit, but as far as off-road riding, you have backed up 100% of all the shit you talk. That's what I'll say. Anything you say about your riding ability off-road is not shit talking anymore. It is, at, he is dropping bars. Straight bars. Bars from Pat when it comes to off-roading. Now when it comes to road riding, Look at that, man. What? This has got some beautiful ass country for sure. Uh, what the? F Do we go over that? Yeah, we're gonna have to. Whoa. Holy shit! First gear, take it like an undulation. <laughs> what the f kind of cow is getting over that? None. That's the whole shit. point. Okay, first gear, get up halfway up the hill, then go left. That's a little excessive for cows. I don't feel like they're gonna have that type of uh, endurance. Knees bent, weight forward, arms light. You can go left or right here, I'm going right. Guys, this is what he was doing that whole time. Trying to stay in the middle. Ugh. Yeah, just let her eat. Knees bent, weight forward, eyes up. Second gear as it smooths out on this undulation. All right. Bo, we still got you back there. Five or six so. up. Yeah. Okay. You smell that nice mountain air? It smells like a candle. That's just nature, baby. I have 31% battery. On what, Cardo? Uh, phone. Oh, okay. Uh, Cardo battery's almost dead. So I'll start using blinkers if my Cardo dies. Okay. Uh, we can keep going then, if, if you're good. Yeah, let's keep going just because I don't want the battery to die. Yeah.
think I could ever get tired of going through this road. Holy shit. All right, my friends, we are back. Oh my gosh, what a freaking day. Bo, what do you think about the gear? It's great. Uh, a little worse for wear right now, but yeah. <laughs> it's a little dirty, uh, but overall, better experience than last year? Better experience for what we were doing and just constantly moving? Yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Uh, yeah, this year, this experience with this gear is entirely different than my experience last year. I was sweaty, my helmet was wet. I wasn't even sweating that much this year because this stuff is so breezy. The boots, absolutely fantastic, love them. I love this gear, this is what I will be wearing. If it's warm outside and I'm doing EDV riding, you can bet your butt when we're in this. Any last thoughts on the gear? Thanks for that. Yep. Seriously. So yeah, guys, Rema stuff is expensive, but it is awesome. We have new plates of the stuff we have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more motorcycle content. Leave a uh, comment down below. Put OC in your comment. Should be to the outro crew. Let me know when you're buying gear. Do you buy the crazy highlight, or do you stay kind of chill? Thank you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Later, outro crew. Love you. Bye.